It's said that once a square tire reaches a certain speed, the bumpiness disappears, making the ride feel just as smooth as with round tires. But is that really true? To find out, Adam decided to design a square tire. After a brainstorming session, the plan was finalized. The wheel hub would be built from multiple steel plates, with extra reinforcement at both the center and the corners to strengthen the overall structure. Due to time constraints, the steel plates had already been outsourced, so all they needed to do was weld the pieces together. To make mounting the tire easier, they added guiding brackets to each of the four corners of the hub. Then they cut out the middle section of a regular tire, leaving just the outer edge to fit around the hub. And just like that, the world's first square tire was born. Next, it was time for testing. They brought in a vibration measurement company to monitor the vibrations while the car was in motion. All four square tires were installed on the vehicle, and everything was ready to go. How would it perform? Let's find out. Right from the start, the car struggled to move, and the vibration was intense. As the speed increased, the ride did start to feel a bit smoother, but it didn't last long. Before they even reached the finish line, the car suddenly tilted to the right and had to stop. It turned out one of the rear tires had come off. It's said that as long as you wear a hyper-realistic human skin mask, you can completely transform into someone else. To test this theory, Adam and Jimmy teamed up with professionals to create two custom masks. They wanted to find out if they could impersonate each other so convincingly that even close observers would be fooled, just like in the movies. Their first test subject, a dog. Not just any dog, though. This one works as a guard dog at the studio and knows everyone who works there by name. Say someone's name, and she'll run straight to that person without fail. To fool the dog, Adam and Jimmy swapped clothes and put on each other's masks. After some detailed grooming and styling, they looked like completely different people. Then, someone called out Jimmy's name. And sure enough, the dog ran to the person wearing Jimmy's mask. But underneath that mask was actually Adam. It worked. The mask had done its job. Next, they decided to take it a step further, with humans. They invited a group of fans and co-workers to join a simple test. Each participant's task was to point a laser at a target from various distances. Standing next to the target, Adam and Jimmy, each wearing the other's face. The goal was to see if regular people could spot the difference despite the masks. Now, imagine this. If you didn't know about the masks, do you think you could tell who was who? It's said that if you throw a drink onto the highway, the plastic cup could hit and kill a driver coming from the opposite direction. To test this claim, Adam set up an experiment. He welded a metal frame next to a moving truck to simulate an oncoming vehicle and placed a crashed dummy behind the windshield. The dummy was equipped with pressure sensors to measure the impact force. Once everything was ready, two vehicles drove toward each other at 40 miles per hour. At the moment they passed, Adam threw a cup of slushy. Although the cup didn't hit the windshield directly, it still caused the glass to crack. After replacing the windshield, they moved on to the second test, this time at 60 miles per hour. Adam tossed another slushy. This time, the windshield collapsed off the frame, but it wasn't pierced. They adjusted the setup for a third test. This time, the windshield was shattered, but the dummy remained unharmed. That's because the plastic cup broke apart on impact, meaning it couldn't fully penetrate the glass, let alone fatally injure the driver behind it. So while the myth was busted, the test revealed something else. Even if a cup can't kill, it can still cause a major distraction for drivers, potentially leading to serious accidents. Moral of the story, never throw anything out of your vehicle on the highway. It's said that driving in high heels can turn you into a menace on the road. Some traffic accidents related to this have even made headlines in the news. To put the rumor to the test, Adam decided to personally try driving in high heels. But before jumping behind the wheel, he picked out three types of shoes that posed the greatest potential danger while driving. Wearing each pair, he sat in a stationary vehicle to measure the time it took to move from the gas to the brake pedal. He then selected the three shoes with the slowest reaction times. After one round of testing, high heels, snow boots, and wedge heels turned out to have the slowest response and were also the most difficult to drive in. Next, they headed to a closed driving course and set up a series of complex driving maneuvers, all designed to test how precisely a driver could control the gas and brake while wearing different shoes. To establish a baseline, they first ran the course in flat shoes. Both drivers completed it in about 1 minute and 20 seconds. But once they switched to the other types of footwear, things changed dramatically. With high heels, the narrow toe box offered minimal contact with the pedal, making it easy for the toe to get stuck while switching between the brake and the gas. This made it hard for the driver to stay focused, and the experience was uncomfortable and distracting. As for snow boots and wedge heels, 
Their thick soles dulled pedal feedback, making it tough to sense how much pressure was being applied. Finishing the test became just a matter of time, not skill. That's why women should always keep a pair of comfy, flat shoes in the car for driving. And keep in mind, this was all tested on a closed track. Out on real streets, it could be seriously dangerous. There was once a viral video like this. A giant Lego ball rolled down a street and crashed into a car, yet remained completely intact. It was said that the ball was made from 5 million Lego bricks. To find out the truth, a team went to a Lego theme park and spoke with one of the designers. The designer explained that, in theory, it's possible to build a sphere like that if you have enough Lego bricks. The process starts by assembling a large number of small Lego modules. These smaller pieces are then joined together to form a structural frame layer by layer. Eventually, the full sphere takes shape as each layer stacks on top of the last. It sounds simple enough, but building it is far from easy. Calculations showed that around 3,600 small modules were needed to complete the ball. Each module required about 200 bricks and 15 minutes to assemble. That meant a huge amount of manpower was needed, so they brought in their entire support staff to help. It took seven full days and about two million Lego bricks to finish the build. Using the small modules, they stacked the ball from the ground up, one layer at a time. Finally, the massive Lego ball was complete. Next, they found a suitable test site. The plan was to roll the ball down a slope and let it crash into a car, just like in the video. Once everything was ready, they gave the ball a push without hesitation. At first, it rolled smoothly, but as it picked up speed, the stress became too much. Eventually, the Lego ball fell apart. Their conclusion? The original viral video likely used some clever trickery. The creator probably glued Lego bricks onto a large, lightweight inner sphere. Also, 5 million Lego bricks would weigh about 5 tons, far too heavy to roll down a regular street like that. In the end, the myth was busted. It's said that as long as you wear a hyper-realistic human skin mask, you can completely transform into someone else. To test this theory, Adam and Jimmy teamed up with professionals to create two custom masks. They wanted to find out if they could impersonate each other so convincingly that even close observers would be fooled, just like in the movies. Their first test subject, a dog. Not just any dog, though. This one works as a guard dog at the studio and knows everyone who works there by name. Say someone's name, and she'll run straight to that person without fail. To fool the dog, Adam and Jimmy swapped clothes and put on each other's masks. After some detailed grooming and styling, they looked like completely different people. Then, someone called out Jimmy's name. And sure enough, the dog ran to the person wearing Jimmy's mask. But underneath that mask was actually Adam. It worked. The mask had done its job. Next, they decided to take it a step further, with humans. They invited a group of fans and co-workers to join a simple test. Each participant's task was to point a laser at a target from various distances. Standing next to the target, Adam and Jimmy, each wearing the other's face. The goal was to see if regular people could spot the difference despite the masks. Now, imagine this. If you didn't know about the masks, do you think 